up to now we have discussed about static charges means a charge what is their properties when it is placed in a sphere or on the sphere or at one any any point how the electric field will exist what are the properties of the electric field and how the charge will uh, uh, affect the surrounded region these all things we have discussed and the potential due to that particular charge means in the previous two lessons we have discussed about the properties of the static charges means charge is at stationary but how if the charge is moving through a medium the medium so called conductor or semiconductors what are the behaviors of these charges these things we are going to discuss in this lesson so this lesson name is current electricity that means we can say it as a moving charges so current electricity the first concept in this current electricity is electric current there are many materials which can able to transfer the charge and current through them the materials which can able to flow the charge or which can respond towards the electric fields are called conductors which cannot respond insulators but some materials can respond towards the electric field and they can able to pass the charges and currents with respect to the temperature those are said to be semiconductors now we will discuss about the conductors all metals are good conductors the best conductor is silver but most widely used conductor is copper the first one we should know in this lesson is electric current in static electricity we have discussed about the charge q is equal to charge what is the relation between this electric current and charge electric current defined as and symbol is i this i is defined as the amount of charge flowing through any cross sectional area of a conductor per unit time is called electric current the definition is like this the amount of charge flowing through any cross sectional area of a conductor in unit time is called electric current the symbol of the electric current is i if you see the definition clearly we can write an equation with respect to the definition the amount of charge flowing through any cross sectional area of the conductor where conductor is a material which can able to flow the or which can able to respond for the flow of charges and flow of electrons conductor in unit time is called electric current that means we can write i is equal to rate of change in charge rate of change in charge in another notations we can write i is equal to q by t what is the si unit of current it will be like this we know that i is equal to q by t what is the si unit of charge coulomb s si unit of time 1 second but 1 coulomb by 1 second is equal to 1 ampere symbol is capital a ampere is the si unit of electric current one ampere is defined as one coulomb of charge is flowing in 1 second of time through any cross section area of a conductor then the electric current passing through the conductor is 1 ampere now dimensions of 
इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वी नो दट आई इज इक्वल टू क्यू बाई टी क्यू इज यू कैन राइट आई टी बाई टी सो एम्पियर टाइम बाय टाइम टाइम एंड टाइम गेट कैंसिल ये पावर वन दिस इज द डायमेंशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ए पावर वन मींस करंट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मास और टाइम बट डिपेंडेंस ऑन टाइम बट टाइम एंड टाइम गेट गेट कैंसिल करंट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मास ऑफ द कंडक्टर length of the conductor but we can see the different properties which can depends upon these things so dimensional formula of the current is a power 1 that's it if the instantaneous current is not uniform then the expression will be like this i we can write delta q by delta t when delta t tends to 0 then the expression will become dq by dt where instantaneous current is not uniform means the current or the charges which are uh, passing through unit time is changing varying inside the conductor in this case we should differentiate with respect to the delta t tends to 0 now we will see how this electric current will pass through the conductors electric current in conductors conductors all metals are but conductors all metals why only the metals are able to flow the current why not the other material because metals are rich of free electrons metals are rich of free electrons free electrons means these electrons are free from the bonding with respect to the nuclear forces whenever any electron is free from the bonding then this electron can easily align towards the applied field that's why because of the alignment is easy these these conductors can able to pass the electric current through them in case of insulators no free electrons to understand this concept we should know about the band theory of solids but this concept is uh, in uh, semiconductor devices what is the band theory the valency electrons all will gather in a valency band the conduction band means the electrons which are filled with the the band which is filled with the conducting electrons if these two means conduction band and valency band are overlapped each other those are said to be conductors there is no such a gap between the conduction band and valency band they are overlapped means it is very easy a small amount of energy is much and sufficient to jump an electron from valency band to conduction band that's why conductors can easily flow the electric current but in case of insulators there is a large gap between the conduction band and valency band large gap the gap is uh, too much so the required energy is too much and much more needed for the jumping of an electron from valency band to conduction band It means if that uh, energy is not supplied it is not possible to conduct the current uh, through these material that's why in all status of the temperatures these materials behave as insulator best example wood plastic but wood and plastic can uh, pass the heat wood plastic rubber all these 
materials are the under the list of insulators but there is one material another material which is said to be semiconductors means its conductivity lies in between the conductors and insulators semiconductors are those materials initially at room temperature they are insulators only insulators only but whenever charge is supplied because of the charge some heat also generated due to this heat developed the bands already which are separated by a large distance they are going to expand and this expansion at one particular point they will touch with each other again there is a case of overlapping then it can able to flow the charges through it so this is the behavior of uh, electricity in different materials but in conductors because of the free electrons only the possibility of the electric current is states exist if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus